country. My, I, I live on a farm, but we're making no money. There's no, there's not enough money to feed the family. Where do I go? <laughs> Where from? Go to to be a uh, cafe, uh, karaoke, or something like this. Like a work in the restaurant. It's like a. Uh, yeah, but where do I have to go? I, I'm on the farm. What do I have? To, where do I go? It's like a uh, when they uh, cannot find the, the work and cannot make money and cannot get enough money. So it's so like a, most women, most girl, mostly they go to the uh, restaurant and. Uh, do Where's work. the restaurant? In, in the city. That's it. The yeah. city. That's what I mean. That's how families, the beginning of breakup of the family. Women and men, you can't, if you can't work on the farm, you can't make money, you get down to the city. That's what happened in the United States too. Everybody, now it's, it's different, but in the beginning, people left the farms in the United States, millions, and went to the cities to get work. In the old days, it used to be in factories. But it's now, even now, factories, right? Okay, so let's put as a negative is, um, although you have better economy created jobs, uh, um, a break up, break up of family unit. Yes, now family Thailand in Western country uh, become the same because uh, before in Thailand we have warm family and big family grandfather, grandmother, uncle, aunt, father, mother, grandchildren they live together before more than 10 people in the family but now no. single <laughs> it's like single family, father, mother and children yes, that's exactly that's, that's a very Western influence yeah. So it's not the breakup of, of the of the of larger family unit. When they no. get married, they have new home. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They look for a new home. It used to be everybody just moved in with each other. And now also, if the next generation makes money, they don't want to live in the with everybody else. Yeah. They want to buy a condo if they yeah. do it. Or rent a condo. Yeah. So they need freedom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very. Uh, <laughs> I like freedom. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I have very, very good understanding of Western culture. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that's an, a, a big negative, and um, uh, even you know, I, I think if I looked at my family, um, I, I'm not married or don't have children. But just my three sisters, brother, and their children. They're all over the country because they have to go where jobs are. Uh, that type of thing. And that's very typical. Okay. What about Western television? I think that's had a big influence. Mm -hmm. You can know another country in the same time by television. Oh, thank you so much, Mrs. Singh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, tell me what you think about the television that comes here from the Western world. Good or bad? Uh, good. good. All right, what's the good part? Good. Uh, the lighter, uh, uh, the lighter, the, the, the new in the television, have the project, have the economy, and uh, Everything to do it, uh, so they have been all the world and you can know them by the two television. Uh, the, the news of the whole world. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's a very positive thing on <coughs> television everywhere. We'll just put on the t uh, uh, TV news from all over the yeah. world. Okay. News. news. Yeah. From. You know what happened around the world. Yeah. No limit. And right. limit is. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's so interesting, like in BBC, when I'm listening to the TV in the morning and they say it's uh, 1 a.m. 1 a. in London, it's uh, 6 a.m. in Singapore, you know, it's 7 o'clock in 
Bangkok, and I yeah. think how incredible everybody is listening all around the world. Yes. But what about are there any negative thing, any negative effects of Western television 